Meet Kevin just rug pulled this all. I'm sorry, folks. I just went through a period of like crazy food poisoning. It ruined my entire weekend, but I've been listening to this in the background and I'm like, you know, before I KO tonight, I got to make a quick video on it. I mean, it's just, it's so entertaining and it's so funny. I'm going to show you some clips from Meet Kevin's video five days ago. And then we're going to watch a video from yesterday is he basically just pissed off like half, at least more than half of his entire viewer base. Like this guy is more of an entertainer, which I can appreciate being a full-time magician for a decade, but trying to sell people a membership course and then flip-flopping and doing the opposite of what you teach is just kind of hilarious. But just just take a listen to this. Future. Just a thought, just a thought. Oh, don't mind me shorting the crap out of the market. Basically put it, and we don't know, we don't know. We're just guessing that he's probably doing the same thing he did in 2020. But he's basically putting his thumb in a wound going, yeah, you like that? You like that feeling of more pain? How about some more pain, huh? How about some more pain while he's squeezing out cash out of the market and robbing you blind from behind, taking all the money out of your mar out, out, out of your wallet? This guy, in my opinion, should be investigated. If he's shorting the market right now, he's a freaking fraud. Now, he's able to make money, but he's doing so stealing from people. And that is the scummiest form of capitalism that I believe exists in this world. Meaning the market is actually not pricing in more inflation expectations. The market's falling, quite frankly, because the market's falling. And because hedge funds and institutions and suits are making money shorting the crap out of this market under the fear that all of a sudden the Fed hiking rates is such a bad thing and that inflation expectations are going through the roof when that is not true. Inflation expectations are not going through the roof. The bond market is telling that to us loud and clear. Instead, it's scumbags like this trying to shake out the weak hands out of the market and rob people blind by putting pressure and pain where it don't belong because they're scumbags who aren't transparent with their positions. And this is why I am 100% transparent with absolutely everything I do in my portfolio. If you join my Stocks and Psychology of Money program, you will learn to think like I do when it comes to the market. And to me, this is a signal of the freaking bottom. This is a signal of the bottom. Be careful with margin, but I am bullish on this market. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not effing leaving. So he was just reaming Bill Ackman basically for, you know, rug pulling everybody, like basically putting fear in the market, not disclosing his positions, being short, and then closing those short positions after just reaming everybody that the market's going to be destroyed. And then here he is with all of his years and experience in economics telling people that this is the bottom, we're buying the dip, it's going to be fine, I'm never going anywhere, I'm transparent. And then we come back and take a listen to this. <laughs> I'm just continuing to dollar cost average is also best. Best. It's, it's the passive way to invest. The easiest thing to do. I think it's the wisest thing to do. Now, in this pay case, though, uh, I personally have tro uh, chosen to trade uh, these market catalysts. Now, I could be entirely wrong. I hope I am. I hope we're at peak fear and we've hit the bottom of the market and, uh, you know, we, we rally like crazy. I, I don't really think markets can rally on anything other than January 25th and March 16th going substantially better than we believe, as I've described, how the market tends to historically react. Now, uh, I've sold 99.15% of my stocks and my entire crypto portfolio. Uh, of the cash that I have right now, I am 5.56% short the market. So of the cash I have, 5.5% short the market uh, with a put option on the market. Uh, and it's a short term one. So I, I want to be completely transparent. Uh, this means I have no margin. I have nearly $20 million in cash and about $1 million in a short position. Now I expect to trade back entirely into the market within 60 days. This is extremely risky and has exposed me to substantial capital gains. But after buying each dip of March of 2020, I've been extremely consistent. I am worried that we're really just at the lifeboat stage of the Titanic. So it's kind of like the Titanic hit the iceberg. Maybe we hit the iceberg in December. It's like, ah, oh, crap, the Fed's actually going to respond to inflation. But we're now just getting on the lifeboats. We're not at the sinking phase yet. And we're certainly not at the rescue phase yet. That's just my belief. And so I'm making a, an outsized bet on this. I believe this creates an opportunity for me to lower my risk uh, and exposure to the market and to time a better result. Now, this could be very stupid because again, we know that time in the market beats timing the market. We know that it's much safer to DCA, but when you're exposed 100% to higher valuation tech companies, you might consider taking a more protective approach, especially if you're also exposed to margin and especially if you have other cash needs coming up. But the most important bottom line out of all of this is I expect more fear to get priced into this market between January 25th and March 16th. And so I plan to re-enter the market very suddenly. I'm going to very suddenly buy right back in 
with a balance of short-term call options and share purchases. So again, I'm in a daze here, so bear with me, but I just think it's funny how he's like the best thing to do, you know, Warren Buffett and all these guys, all that advice that we've learned over all these years of all these billionaires and it's cost average by real companies, hold them for the long term. And he says, that's probably the best idea, but do you know what I'm going to do? I hold risky shit. So I'm going to sell it all at the bottom of the market here, even though I just said it was the bottom and we're going to buy it back in, in an instant's notice and we're going to make incredible capital gains. And you guys are going to love me. So buy my buy my subscriptions courses and come join me and and you can you can follow me as entertainment because you doing this would be stupid so i don't know why you're buying this course in the first place i'm sorry guys i just want to know what you think about this stuff uh this is probably going to be one of the most entertaining moments in the market that i've seen in a very since the march 2020 crash i mean it's been a boring uptrend forever a little bit of volatility and people's common sense goes out the door and we get to see a lot of drama a lot of capital losses a lot of capital gains how do you think this is going to work out for me kevin because even if it goes well, he just slaughtered so much respect for himself. Hey, I've done that a few times. No one's perfect. But damn it. Hey, it's entertainment. It's what we're here for. Stay cool. Stay awesome. <laughs> I'll catch you in the next one.